Are you familiar with Spotlight? We are a four-person investigative team. The journalists we portray in this movie do the hard work, and now there are fewer of them. What I'm focused on is finding a way to make this paper essential to its readers. It's an incredible service that these guys offer. What those guys do, they do it because they want to do it, they need to do it, and arguably serves a greater function. The Boston priests molested kids in six different parishes over the last 30 years. The church found out about it and did nothing. This strikes me as an essential story to a local paper. Journalism is a integral part of a free and healthy society. You can't have a, a, a free society without uh, a free press. You want to sue the church? Technically, we wouldn't sue the church. We'd file a motion to lift the seal on those documents. The story is an example of really strong local investigative journalism that had, a, at first, a national impact and then a global impact. That's an important thing to remember, especially today, where investigative journalism has taken a huge hit. The church will fight us very hard on this, which won't go unnoticed by our subscriber base. 53% of them are Catholic. I think they'll be interested. A lot of the newspapers in this country are in dire straits. The Boston Globe is half the size it was in 2001. Long-term investigative journalism isn't what it used to be. The ongoing transformation from news into news as entertainment is, is disconcerting. We're not going away. I am here because I care. We're going to tell this story. We're going to tell it right. Many Metro dailies have closed, staffs cut 40, 50 percent. We still have some very strong national papers in the U.S., but it's on the local level. And I think that's important to remember that this story, this movie, is based on a local paper that cracked us. And they're probably the only people who could have cracked it. I want to keep digging. We need to focus on the institution. Show me that it came from the top down. There's some states where newspapers don't have reporters at the state legislature. Now, that's, that's terrifying. We need to know what's happening at that level. 6% act out sexually. 6% is 90. 90 priests. If there were 90 of these bastards, people would know. Maybe they do. Supporting real investigative journalism is a fundamental element to our democracy. We just owe it to ourselves, we owe it to our country that we are holding institutions and individuals in check. And we rely on, on journalists to do that. And they can't do it if they're, if they're not there. <laughs> We've got two stories here. A story about degenerate clergy and a story about a bunch of lawyers turning child abuse into a cottage industry. Which story do you want us to write? Because we're writing one of them. Hopefully what will happen is people who really want to be journalists and people who want to expose stories like this will take those old standards and just move them along to new, to new media. If I can be of any help, don't hesitate to ask. This is a shining example of how our society benefits from a strong, free, professional press. Thank you. Personally, I'm of the opinion that for a paper to best perform its function, it uh, really needs to stand alone.